This is Understand the Times, a radio program dedicated to equipping the church with biblical insights for contemporary issues. As an author and lecturer, Roger Oakland speaks internationally on a wide variety of topics. Roger helps us understand and analyze past events, today's headlines, and even things yet to take place. Now, to help us understand the times, here's Roger. Hi, I'm Roger Oakland. Welcome to Understand the Times. Jude was called by God to send a message to the church. It seems the simple gospel of Jesus Christ was being compromised. Apparently, certain men had crept in and were the cause of great concern. He began by making his emphatic statement, quote, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. For there are certain men crept in unawares, who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of God into lasciviousness, and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. End of quote. Jude, verses 3 and 4. Now, imagine if you were a member of a church that received a letter from Jude. He was the half-brother of Jesus Christ. His message certainly must have carried some weight. His letter opened by stating that although he had intended to write and share about the wonderful salvation accomplished through the finished work of the cross, his mind was somehow chained. Instead, he felt it imperative to deal with a major problem that had developed. Apparently, certain men had crept in unawares and actually had to become an enemy of the simple gospel. Rather than being a messenger of the gospel, these impostors had become stealth deceivers who needed to be exposed before more innocent followers of Jesus were led astray. What had happened was the very thing that Paul had previously warned the church about at Corinth when he had written to them and stated, quote, But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus whom we have not preached, or if you receive another spirit which you have not received, or another gospel which you have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. End of quote. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 3 and 4. Paul warned the church at Corinth about one of Satan's most effective plans to deceive the brethren. Further, in the book of Acts chapter 20, Paul warned what would occur after he had departed the scene. He wrote, quote, For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things, to draw away disciples after them. Acts 20, verses 29 to 30. So there it is. Paul saw Satan's plan clearly and warned what was coming. Jude saw it happening in his day. Further, these warnings, which are included in the inspired word of God, are timeless and are for the church right now. What would Paul and Jude write to the church if they were here today? Would their message have changed in any way? Based on current trends that dilute the simple gospel of Jesus and make it into a social, humanistic, psychological, what's-in-it-for-me gospel that rejects the imminent return of our Lord, I don't think so. Let the book of Jude be a wake-up call for us today. I'm Roger Oakland. This has been a biblical perspective to help understand the times. Did you know that Understand the Times as an international ministry has programs that assist widows and orphans around the world with over 40 homes established to care for the poor in Myanmar, Kenya, South Africa, and the Philippines? Understand the Times' desire is to serve those in need and to give them the gospel of Jesus Christ. To find out how you can get involved as a supporting partner for any of these countries, please visit our website at understandthetimes.org. That's understandthetimes.org. Simply click on the UTT Missions tab to find additional information. Partner with us as we desire to reach the nations with the gospel of Jesus.